In this class, we will study about 2D shapes. Use 2D shapes for creating 3D objects. Let's begin the class. As we have already studied in the classes on the Max interface, all objects can be created on the Command Panel Create tab. So, let's create shapes in this category. There is a list of shapes in the Shape category which may be inserted in the scene. There are also splines, nerve curves, and extended splines. Splines are one of the basic shapes such as circles, rectangles, lines, and others. Extended splines are made up of a variety of shapes. Generally, they are sketched from two or more basic splines, but they are still parametric. See this example of a thick rectangle, T-shape, and others which are useful for displaying walls in floor plans. Nerves curves are specific curves created for modeling nerves. However, we won't study this type in this course. So now, since we are familiar with existing shapes in Max, let's learn about their main properties and how to change them. Create a rectangle in splines, access rectangle, and create it in the scene. Now let's go to the Modify tab and check the parameters. In the Rendering section, select the Shape Visibility options for Rendering or Viewport. Now let's enable the Enable in Render and Enable in Viewport options. See how when we click Enable in Viewport, we will be able to see the shape as a 3D geometry. Press Shift and Q and view the rendering. We can now see the shape is visible after it is rendered. Now, after learning about the shape viewing appearance settings, Let's learn about the Interpolation Group. This tool is extremely useful for curved objects as it creates more steps in curved shapes. Take a look at this. The more steps, the better in curved display. It also improves the end results when transforming 2D shapes into 3D. Down here, we can see the Parameters group. This group defines all the basic parameters for shapes, just as we had learned in the basic 3DS Max course. So in this class, we have learned about the main shape properties in Max. As we have studied here, we employ the tools as much as possible to create complex elements. We just have to use our creativity to get the most from the software.